I'm Robbie Carmen, and today I want to show you a way of creating a bleach bypass look in Final Cut Pro. What is a bleach bypass look? Well, a bleach bypass look is a popular way of skipping a step when developing film. And what it does is gives us a very stylized, high contrast, low saturated, and sometimes blown out look. And we can do this very easily in Final Cut Pro. Let me show you how it works. So here in Final Cut Pro, I have a clip, and this comes from a television series that I work on called uh, Closer to Truth, Cosmos, Consciousness, and God, which airs on PBS. And I'm gonna use this clip to create a bleach bypass look. So the first thing I need to do to create this look is I need to duplicate this video clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock my audio track so I don't duplicate those. And then with the video clip selected, I'm gonna hold down the option key and drag up. This will duplicate the clip. Just be sure before you let go that you release the option key. Okay, so now that I've duplicated the clip, what I'm gonna do is right click on the topmost clip and come down to composite mode and I'm gonna choose add. This composite mode will add pixel values together, essentially blowing out the highlights in this clip. Okay, so you can see here in my canvas that the highlights got much brighter. I actually want to take it up a notch. So with this topmost clip selected again, I'll open it up into the viewer, come to effects, video filters, color correction, color corrector three-way. And then I'll click on the color corrector three-way tab here in the viewer, and I'm simply going to take my contrast slider for my highlights and drag it up so I blow the highlights out even more. Something like that. So now that I've adjusted my contrast, the next thing I need to do is take the saturation out of this clip. Bleach bypass looks tend to be desaturated. And I'm going to do that by using the saturation slider here in the color corrector three-way and dragging all the way to the left to desaturate the clip. Something like that. Okay, so now that I've got that part of the things going, next thing I'm going to do is come back to my video tab and click on the generators pull-down and then come down to render and then choose noise. I think that bleach bypass looks look better if they're a little grungy and they have some noise as you would see on a traditional film frame. So I'm gonna take this noise and edit it down into my sequence. And you'll notice it was a bit long, so I'm just simply gonna cut off this end of it. And that's not quite the look we were going for because all we see is noise. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that my opacity line is on the noise clip and if it's not, you can simply click on this button right here to show clip overlays, option W to enable that. And I'm gonna take the opacity of this clip way down, some, something like 10, 12, something like that. And now you can see over here, I have a much noisier, grainier clip. Now, this last step is optional. I tend to like vignetting on clips. So I'm gonna take the middle clip here, the one that we added the add composite mode to earlier, double click on it, come back up to the effects menu, video filters, down to stylize, and let's go ahead and choose vignette. And then we'll come to the filters tab for that clip, and in the vignette controls, let's increase the size of the vignette, and then darken it up just a touch. And I'm gonna take the blur amount all the way down to zero, because I don't wanna blur the edges. Okay, so let's just scrub through this, and you can see it's a pretty stylized, high contrast, look that simulates the traditional bleach bypass process. So creating a bleach bypass look in Final Cut Pro is easy with just a couple steps and a couple layers. Thanks for watching.